key things to look out for this year. Uh, there's a new car, some new drivers, uh, a couple new racetracks. So it, it's really interesting to see who can get on top of this chassis because obviously it's not been the easiest chassis to develop over the winter. Um, so I, I think that's going to be the most interesting thing is to see who gets on top of it so quickly during the race weekends and um, you know, who can make it happen week in and week out throughout the year and all these various different tracks that we go to. Mm-hmm. For the layperson, the difference between the chassis this year and, and last year? Um, the, the chassis has changed dramatically. There's a lot of new safety features added. It's, a, it's beefed up a little bit from the inside and from the outside. Um, there, there's a lot more downforce being produced on the cars this year, so it makes it act uh, a, a lot lot better in the high-speed corners. So when, you, when you have all the downforce on the car, it's, um, it's unbelievable to drive the thing. It, it has so much grit produced from that downforce that it's, uh, it's a little hard to believe sometimes. You, you don't believe you can go that fast, but you actually can. So. Um, aside from that, there's, there's a lot of new suspension changes. Uh, tires will be the same, there's smaller fuel capacity in the car, so that'll make pit stops a lot different for people to watch this year. Um, also make the handling characteristics a little different when you have pit stops. Um, there's, there's tons of different things to look out for the, this year with this new car. So, um, yeah, it'll be very, very interesting to see if we get on top of it. How much chance have you had to, uh, to practice with this thing before the se- uh, season started? We've had four days of testing with Sarah Fisher Armin Racing, so uh, not a lot of time, not a lot of time time at all, but I think it was enough for us to get a little idea of how the car works and uh, gave us a little bit of something to look at before we went to St. Pete and, and kind of put a little bit of a, a base setup to start with. So I think we're looking in an okay shape. We definitely got to have a lot more testing like some of the other teams, but you know we'll take what we can get at this point. Well, well the handling and, and how you handle the chassis, will that uh, be dependent upon the different uh, types of tracks that, uh, that you encounter? Absolutely. Uh, you know, again, this new car, you have to figure out how it's going to work on all different surfaces. Uh, we obviously go to street circuits, road courses, uh, and then ovals of all different kinds. And um, there's still some type of tracks that we haven't gone to yet. We haven't tested this car. So um, it's still a guessing game in some matters, but uh, there's there's definitely, um, it's definitely exciting. You know, it's very exciting going to a racetrack where you know you have a new car. And um, if you can get on top of it quicker, then maybe you have a chance to run with the big guys like Penske and Ganassi. Um, you know, and, and shine through with a little team. So for me, that's really exciting, and I know the whole Sarah Fisher Harmon Racing team that I'm driving for, um, they're real excited about that, and they want to they want to show that we're, we're capable of doing that as a small team. All right, now are you a rookie this year? I am a rookie. Yeah, yeah. one of three rookies with, with Simone Pagano and uh, uh-huh. Kathleen Lake. Uh, talk, talk about that. Talk about this being your first year and uh, getting your feet wet here early on, and of course, we're just a couple months away from the big one here in Indy. Yeah, well, it's. <laughs> Very exciting, yeah. really, really exciting. I mean, there's not many people that get to drive an Indy car in a lifetime. So um, for me, it's it's very surreal almost. Um, it, it's not too abnormal though, uh, because I, I did spend a year in fires and Indy lights, and I think that made my transition very easy to the Indy car paddock. Uh, we're so close to it during the race weekends that I think it makes that transition a lot smoother. Um, you know, I, I'm kind of disappointed that Rubens Barrichello is not a rookie. I really think he should be. I'd like to go a little, a little toe-to-toe with him on the point standing. So uh, maybe I'm speaking too soon. Maybe maybe that's not a good thing that I'm saying right now. Maybe I'll be happy he's not a rookie during the year. But we'll see. I think I think we've got some something that we can run for him.